guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. It's another Gear Thursday. I've got my assistant, Mr. Max, here helping me yo, for this. Yo. What up, Max? Special video that we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Pepsi challenge of acoustic guitars. Uh, we're gonna blindfold myself and we're gonna play three different levels of guitar, like price-wise. So I've got this brand new Orangewood Oliver Mahogany model, which is in the $150, $200 range. Uh, so uh, entry level, very affordable. I've already been a big fan of these, but we're gonna do this one. Then we've got, uh, just to mix up the palettes a little bit, we've got this uh, very nice D'Angelico acoustic that's in the $500 range. So we've got the like 150, 200, we got the 500 plus, and then finally we've got the uh, super premium Taylor uh, 814, which is a premium acoustic. So we're gonna do all three of those. Max. To the max. You're gonna help me shuffle these suckers so I don't know what we got. And then I'll just describe what I'm, uh, what I'm feeling, what I'm sensing, the emotions, the tones, and the smells. All right, I don't know if they noticed, but I actually have my blinders. They come always on my hat. If you guys haven't noticed ever that this is always like that, then I guess you're just not paying enough attention. Anyway, time to use it, you know, because I use this all the time. Okay, now wave your hand in front of me. I just did. <laughs> okay, so see, I didn't see a thing. All right, so we're gonna do guitar number one, guitar number two, guitar number three in any order. I don't know what Max. Mr. Max? Mr. Max is going to hand to me. So Max, grab one of the guitars randomly, please, and then strum me a couple of sweet uh, open chords. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna snell, I'm gonna snell it. Give and, it a sniff. And then I'm gonna give it a, a smell. Okay. So I don't think, I remember when the, when I got the orange wood that didn't smell like that. So it's, this is not the orange wood, but now I'm gonna play it. So let's see here. Uh, I like the E thing. Okay, so I think I know which one that is, but anyway, it feels it feels nice. Plays nice and comfortable. It sounds great. Um, not not super bright, so I don't think it's my Taylor either. I think it's well, I'm not gonna say. Let, let's go through all three. So that was number one. All right, go ahead, Max, put it away. All right, so you have guitar number two, uh, and and a guitar pick, which is always great for playing guitar. Uh, why don't you strum some of those? Just give me the basic chords. Let me hear it. Okay, I already think I know which one it is, but give it to me. Okay, I might go back on what guitar number one was actually. Because this definitely feels uh, more not as familiar to me. And it also has a little bit of a punchy mid-range that, that I haven't heard. So let me, let me play through this again. Are changing my opinion is changing a little bit so I will say it plays really nice okay that brings us to number three 
All right, here we go. Guitar number three. All right. Okay. See? Yeah. So I'm feeling a, a satin finish uh, with my hands here. I'm feeling the satin finish behind the neck. Feels really comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna play it, same thing I was playing on the other. Okay, yeah, so this is, uh, I smell the uh, mahogany type of smell in the uh, sound hole there. So this is guitar number three. So uh, guitar number three is definitely the orange wood. Um, only after playing both the first two guitars did I realize because guitar number two didn't feel as um, familiar to just my uh, shape, the way it felt. So that means it's the, the number two is the D'Angelico because uh, I just bought it for this video. <laughs> and I know right away it just sounded a little different and it felt a little different, but it had the satin body. So I'm using like, you know, deduction to then come to the conclusion that guitar number one uh, was the Taylor. And I didn't realize until the second guitar how comfortable the first one was because I've played it so much and I'm just used to it. So this is definitely the orange wood. What you're getting is for like 150 plus, you're getting an amazing guitar. This Taylor, you're, you're spending over 10 times the amount of money. So if you're trying to learn guitar and you don't have that, you know, those deep pockets, orange wood is just such a great, great way to go. Uh, did, you, did you feel any difference? I know you're only playing a few chords on the three. What, did you sense anything? Yeah, I mean, I definitely felt like that one was like a little brighter. A little easier to play. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd have to jam out on these a little bit longer. Yeah, I sure, sure. No, chords, and, the, but... and the thing is, like, you, yes, the Taylor is a nicer guitar. It's nicer wood. It's made in, uh, you know, it's made in the United States. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons. But, you know, the uh, is it 10 times nicer than the orange wood? I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so, so either. And then the D'Angelico is, like I said, is brand new. You know, I bought it brand new for this video because I wanted like a mid-range priced guitar. And uh, it plays great. I mean, I've never had a D'Angelico before. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. But you're looking at more like a 500. I mean, you're, you're looking at at least twice, if not closer to three times the price of the orange wood on that one. So you're definitely not getting, you know, three times the quality in that gu guitar to this guitar. So I guess in conclusion, uh, the Orangewood is just a great deal for yeah. a guitar that sounds good, plays good, and you can learn on it and also uh, keep it as you upgrade later in life potentially. Yeah. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Let me know what you guys heard, any differences um, in the comments below. And any other gear you'd like to see me cover, let me know in, uh, in the comments below as well. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Max here uh, for helping me out. Anyway, thanks again, you guys, and uh, we'll see you later.